When I was in school in Minnesota, I had very close friends. And when my father changed jobs, we decided to move out to New Jersey. And I remember sitting on the front step of our new house in New Jersey thinking, I can't wait to meet all these new friends. I can't wait to go have a good time with these kids, play sports with them. And that dream, so to say, kind of was shot down almost instantaneously when I started my first day of school out there. Really, it was probably the first week that it started to get bad because they found out because I'm new, I don't have any friends, I don't have any connections, I don't have anyone to lean back on. I was labeled certain terms that were awful and they would always try to beat me up and try to shove me into lockers. I would literally put my feet down and stretch thinking that I would grow more because they would make fun of me so much for being small. I remember them being in, in a circle like they would in movies with me in the center. They would take towels, get the tips wet, and they would whip me with them to the point where I'm bleeding, I'm bruised. I carried all of that on my back. I made that who I was. The pain and the anger and the self-destruction defined me. Well, one of the biggest things that helped me survive when I was out in New Jersey was my faith. One day when we were at youth group, I realized the true strength that the Lord has in me. And I realized that I know it's going to be tough for a while, but I know things are going to turn around at some point. Senior year came around and I realized the only way I'm going to get over this and the only way I'm going to get this stuff off my back is if I reflect on what happened. I forgive those kids for what they did to me and move on. Obviously those thoughts come in my head every once in a while. I know I'm not all these things that they called me. I have confidence now, I have self-esteem and I'm confident in saying that I am who I am, and that is through the power of Christ because I'm a completely different person than I was then.